Hey everyone, it's Kino here. When you're ready to start working on handstands, you need a strong shoulder girdle and a really firm core. A lot of people, like what I did in the beginning, will try to overuse the back muscles or use the back arch to try to find the handstand balance. I would recommend that you approach it from the front body, from your core, so that everything will be aligned along the central axis when you do get up so you can find that vertical line. A way to practice that is to make sure that you have the press up position of the shoulders so that the scapulas are elevated and you can really maintain that full strength in your whole shoulder girdle. Second thing that you need is a really strong core. I found that Ardha Vrikshasana, or half handstand, handstand tuck position, is a really good test of whether the shoulders and the core are turned on. It's also the foundation foundation of deeper handstands or deeper arm balances. So today we're going to work on the handstand tuck position. Now the way to start doing that is on the hands and knees. So we inhale and then we exhale and you're going to press the floor away from you. And as you press the floor away from you, I want, to think about, I want you to think about that your shoulder blades are spreading away from each other. Next, round the upper back and hold it. So we find that protracted or pressed up position of the scapulas. The tailbone is tucked under and next squeeze your thighs into each other. From here, we're going to move into the low lasana plank. So the knees are going to point in between your arms and we're going to hold that for five, one. Right now our toes are on the ground, so be conscious of the alignment, elbows straight, round upper back. Two, your gaze is right on the floor, in between your hands, just a little bit forward of the fingers. Now to increase the activation, you're going to lean forward and pull one knee into your chest. Another five breaths, one, two, three, find your abs, four. And five, switch, left side, squeeze it into your chest. So the knees point in between the arms. One, two, three, four, step it back. Give yourself a little bit of a rest for a moment. Shake out your hands if that was real stressful on the wrists. Handstand tuck is a hard position. First, we're gonna jump the hips over the solid foundation of the arms. You're gonna find the balance there. And then we're gonna consciously activate the abdominal muscles to bring everything in towards the center line, all right? If at first you don't succeed in the jump, just again try, again try, and the activity of jumping will build the strength in the shoulders and the confidence in your core. When you're thinking about jumping, number one, set up your shoulders. Number two, firm the abdominal muscles, especially the lower abs. Then catch hold of the lower abs, with the power of the abs, jump the hips over the foundation of the arm. So think hips forward into the shoulders. And as soon as you feel the weight in the shoulders, you press up. Here we go. We're gonna try it a couple times. Starting off in sort of a mini downward dog. I don't recommend a full downward dog or it's a little bit too far to jump. So like a mini dog, like a chihuahua, a small little dog. If you don't like chihuahua, just pick one you think is cute. Then move the shoulders, press up with the shoulders, avoid retracting or collapsing down. Press up with the shoulders, tuck the tailbone, little jump, inhale, jump, exhale down. Three times, inhale, hips forward, exhale down. Inhale, jump, press up, exhale down. Do that a couple times, and if it doesn't happen, you just keep trying, trying, trying. Do not overpower it. If you jump with too much force, you're gonna push your body all the way over. It's better that you don't make it up, but you feel the shoulders and the core. Now, we'll see if you can catch the balance. Okay, so starting off in our mini dog. Press up with the shoulders so we get that nice and prepared. Tailbone tucks under, abs are firm. Then bend the knees, inhale, hips forward. Press up with the shoulders, squeeze your knees together, point your toes. See, this is the easy handstand tuck, so let's see if we can all find that. If you can't find that, just keep jumping. After you found this, then pull the knees into the chest, moving the shoulders a little bit forward, and we'll see if we can stay here for five. One, two, three, four, and inhale, exhale, gently come down. So. Before you find your straight handstand, I recommend really working on that handstand tuck. There are a couple of good benefits of that. First of all, it tests your core. Second of all, it prepares the shoulders. And the third point about the handstand tuck, because your knees are pressed into your chest, it prevents you from going all the way over. For those of you that are used to pressing up or working on handstand with the wall, go away from the wall and see if you can master your handstand tuck. Think of this as the foundation for the handstand. It's also a humble intermediary step because you're surrendering to the journey instead of kicking your legs up. I find that most people don't do the handstand because they try to kick their legs up really quickly instead of calmly with a centered and equanimous mind moving into the solid foundation of the shoulders. So work on that every day and your handstand will be coming soon.